Hey guys, how are you? Uh, welcome to uh, another episode of One Guy and One Beer. Uh, I am your host, uh, as always, Nick Ostick. Thank you guys for tuning in here with us on a uh, Sunday afternoon, the last Sunday in June. Um, feels like the summer's flying by, right guys? Um, but on the summer note, we are going to continue moving bravely ahead with our small uh, series on summer beers. Um, beers that are just good, like I said, uh, last couple episodes, um, with whether it's outdoors, summertime activities, summertime foods, barbecues, cookouts, that kind of stuff. Just beers you want to drink when it's hot outside. Um, and so in that vein, today we're going to be doing um, what is probably my favorite summer beer um, and one of my favorite styles of beer in general. Um, and that's a Hefeweizen. It's a German beer. Uh, well, actually, it's a Bavarian beer from sort of the southern um, portion of Germany. Um, and it's coming to us today from Ale Asylum. They are a brewery out of Madison, Wisconsin. Um, been around for a couple of years. Um, they seem to... I haven't had too many of their beers, um, but they seem to sort of made a name for themselves um, with a couple with their IPAs. I think they've got... Um, and I think, don't quote me on this, but I think a West Coast IPA that's really popular, and then a Belgian style, Belgian IPA, that I think people are really, really into. Um, I, like I said, haven't had too many of their beers. I haven't had this one before, but I was up in the Wisconsin area a couple weeks ago and saw it, and, you know, like I said, I love a good Hefeweizen, so I figured, why not pick it up and share it with you guys? So, hopefully we, uh, we enjoy it. Um, real quick, a little bit about Hefeweizen. So, like I said, it's a Bavarian style uh, of beer. It's a German style of beer. Um, and essentially, what it is, it's brewed with 50%. It has to be, by German purity law standards, it has to be brewed with at least 50% um, wheat. 50%, uh, I believe it's malted wheat, actually. Um, but... Hefeweizens that are traditional to style and really adhere to style of designations can be brewed with upwards of 70% wheat. Um, and that's actually what um, Weizen means in German. It's wheat. Hefe is yeast and Weizen is wheat. So you have yeast and wheat and I have a Hefeweizen. Um, Hefeweizen, is, like I said, it's a great summer beer, but it's also, I think, a really good beer for folks who are sort of just getting into craft beer. Um, again, looking at it stylistically, it's not a bitter beer at all. There's very, very little bitterness. Um, it's a fruity beer. Um, it has notes, or it should rather have notes, of banana and a little bit of pear. Um, clove is, is extremely common. Um, sort of a, a little bit of maybe like a cracked black peppery notes to it as well. Um, and there can be sort of some creamy vanilla qualities to it. Um, and... This beer, Hefeweizen, is not, it's not brewed with bananas or it's not brewed with any of those fruit notes, but you get those from the yeast, um, from that Hefeweizen yeast. Um, during the brewing process, what happens is you've got, um, in the yeast itself, you've got two sort of flavor components that arise out of that. Um, esters, which are fruity notes, um, and phenols or phenolics, which are spice notes. And... Striking the balance that you get with a Hefeweizen, with the banana and the clove and the vanilla, all depends on how the temperature in which um, you're boiling the beer and then when it's fermenting. You know, playing with that temperature then dictates whether or not there are more fruity notes, more esters, or there are more of those sort of spicier notes like clove or, um, you know, black pepper or even things like allspice, those just spicier um, characteristics. Um, so yeah, great beer for people who are just starting to get, get into it, um, getting into beer rather, but I also think it's a great beer for folks who are, you know, sort of the craft beer nerds, um, because for me, a really good Hefeweizen, it's not a heavy beer, but there's a fullness to it. Like, that's what I really gravitate toward in a Hefeweizen, um, that there's sort of a really lush, luxurious kind of mouthfeel to it, um, and so that kind of satisfies folks who might be, say, into bigger beers like your porters or your stouts or that kind of thing. So I think it's a really a nice, like, sort of all-purpose, all-purpose beer. 
Um, so, yeah, let's uh, get to cracking without further ado, shall we? No, this might not happen, guys, because I can't. Ah, there we go. I bought this bottle opener at New Glarus when Kate and I were up there uh, visiting the brewery. New Glarus, guys, you need to work on your bottle opener a little bit. This thing just, like, mangles caps to no end. That was what I was trying not to do just now. But look at that. It's just, just completely messed up. New Glarus, put me on blast. I love you. Fix your bottle opener. Um, so let's check this beer out here. Uh, Hefeweizen 2 is a beer that has great head retention. Um, and it's a really, really pretty beer. Um, and so you want a lot of head on Hefeweizen. That is, that is the style for sure. So a little difficult with the tasting glass here. But because of all that, that yeast can produce really, really foamy head. I mean, a traditional Hefeweizen, if you pour it in Hefeweizen glass, which is sort of that tube looking glass, right? Um, you might have, say, that much head, and then, you know, and the rest is the beer, but that's, that's, like I said, pretty standard. So let's take a look, uh, checking her out. She's, uh, pale yellow, almost like a lemonade to it. Um, you know, like I said, it's got good head on, you know, on this particular pour, but with this being a tasting glass, not head of icing glass, you're not going to get that really, really, you know, like that four or five fingers worth of head. Um... But yeah, right on for the style in terms of the appearance. Unfiltered, Hefeweizens are unfiltered, so you should not be able to see through them at all. Should be very little light that's able to penetrate it. Um, I don't see too much in terms of uh, yeast or sediment in it. Um, usually with, you know, a Hefeweizen that's um, brewed to, to style designations or to, the, you know, what's characteristic of the style, you should be able to see some yeast or some some particles. It might still be in the bottom of the bottle, actually. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, there's some yeast in the bottom of that bottle floating around in there. But, uh, yeah, I should also say, for folks who want to pick this up, this might help, um, from Ale Asylum, this is called Unshadowed. That's their head fights in, Unshadowed, from Ale Asylum, and I'm looking to see if there's anything else about on it. No, it's just flavor notes. Blah, blah, blah. None of this is very interesting. Vibrant as a summer sun. Uber refreshing. Soft on palate. Effervescence. Yeah, nothing terribly exciting there. Um, clocks in at about 6% ABV. Also, so for folks who are curious, um, that's about true to style. That's a little high. I, I tend to think Hefeweizens are, you know, run 4.5 to 5.5, somewhere in there. But this is not, you know, off or anything like that by too terribly much. So, yeah, um... Like I said, see that head's really dying fast and agitated a little bit. And yeah, she comes right back. So let's check it out here. Okay, so yeah, right off the top, um, I get uh, a lot of that spice, a lot of clove, um, for sure. Um, I get a little bit of pepper as well, so clove, pepper. I almost get a little bit... God help me, there's almost a cinnamon note to it, which is uh, not unpleasant, but just I didn't expect to get that. My nose may be just off today, but... But yeah, uh, a ton of banana for sure. Um, getting close to uh, a bubblegum or a banana Laffy Taffy a little bit. Um, without a doubt. Um, definitely some vanilla for sure. It, it smells creamy. Like in the nose, you can just tell that there's a, a creaminess to this. There's something else I'm getting there too, and I can't quite... Definitely um, a bready graininess from, from that wheat. Um, Yeah, the vanilla note now as it sits is really, really becoming apparent. That's really hitting me. Um, and then we've only, I've only had this beer open for what two minutes. I mean, and that vanilla note's really, really becoming more and more present. But very, very nice smelling beer, true to style. Smells refreshing. Mm, all right, and, and, and we shall go in for a taste.
Very little clove in the in the actual flavor. Very little of that of that spice or that spicing. Um, very little black pepper as well. Um, a ton of banana. It's 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 a liquefied banana laffy taffy, um, for lack of a better something to compare it to. Um, I get a little bit of that vanilla. Um, there's a, a good amount of sweetness here for sure. Obviously, you know, banana laffy taffy, you're gonna have some sweetness. Um, finishes fairly dry though for something that starts so sweet. The vanilla note is there, um, with, 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 without a doubt, um, and it's it's got a, a nice mouthfeel. It's light for sure to style. I mean, it's light bodied. The mouth feels fairly light. Um, it's a little more aqueous than I would prefer my Hefeweizen to be. Like I said, part of the, what I look for in a good Hefeweizen is that a a, a a roundness in the mouth or a softness. Um, um, but also very full, something that it's, it, it, it doesn't necessarily blanket your palate, um, but something that kind of announces itself more so than this is doing. And again, that comes from the you know combination of the of the, the yeast and the wheat. You know, mainly that wheat gives it a very creamy texture, um, and I'm kind of missing that with this. This is not uh, personally for me. It's just not what I want my head of in to be um, in the mouthfeel. Mm. I mean, that said though, is it a bad half item? No. I've definitely had, um, I've had much worse American interpretations um, of a, of a half of item. Um, would I get it again? Um, you know, I'm kind of on the fence on it. It's fine. It's a fine beer. Um, you know, I'm not gonna necessarily traipse all over town trying to track it down. Um, but, you know, if you're looking for a pretty uh, readily available, affordable version um, of a Hefeweizen, yeah, you know, you could you could pick it up, and I think you'd be be pretty satisfied with it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Would I pick it up again? I'm kind of on the fence. Um, what do I give it out of five? I'll go three and a half, maybe. I might be feeling a little bit generous today. Um, I just, it, the mouthfeel is not there for me at all, and I don't, I want more of that spice. Again, for me, the best part of Hefeweizen is that banana note paired with that clove, and all I'm getting here is the banana and the vanilla, and I want more of that. I want more of those phenols, or the, you know, those those spicy notes to it. Um, what do you pair Hefeweizen's with? Um, well, obviously, you know, it's a German-style beer, so it's German sausages, bratwurst, that kind of stuff would go great with um, with the Hefeweizen. Um, I like a nice, like a salty cheese with the Hefeweizen. I don't know, but I will, I want something salty, something kind of minerally. Um, I think that pairs, you know, very, very nicely with it too. Um, I, I want to like this beer more than I do. That's what I'm currently struggling with right now. I'm negotiating this internally. Can you tell? Can you see it in my eyes? I want to like this beer much more than I do. Mm. Yeah, no, it's not, it's just not, I, it needs that spice, and it's just not, it's not giving it to me, but, you know, hey, that happens, right? So that was um, Unshadowed from Ale Asylum, their Hefeweizen. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, feel free to leave comments, concerns, questions, all that stuff on the website, which is new, by the way. We've revamped it a little bit. We've done some some tweaks to make it a little more... Um, visitor friendly, I guess. Um, so leave comments. Um, feel free to drop me a line at one guy, one beer at gmail.com. I love reading the emails. I love reading the comments. If you have suggestions for beers you want to see on the show, whether they're summer beers or not, um, you know, reach out, guys. Let me know. I'm happy to take uh, take suggestions and and you know share stuff with you guys. Um, that's part of why we're doing this. So thanks again, guys. Um, and until next time. You could go get this beer, um, and uh, I'll keep drinking. Cheers. <laughs>